Mr. Kirshner, thank you for being on today. I mean, with, okay, Judge Cannon. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about here. Uh, why is she a judge? I mean, honestly. Yeah, she's a judge because I have a feeling Trump and company knew they could rely on her to do whatever was in Donald Trump's interest. Mm -hmm. I don't say that with any glee or satisfaction. Um, you know, she is uniquely unqualified right. to serve as a federal judge enjoying a lifetime appointment at our expense, at taxpayers' expense. Because when you look at her resume, so to speak, she's entirely unqualified. Um, and I think that, and I think she proved the point by that absolute mess of a ruling that really, I think the centerpiece of it is that, listen, I think this might harm Donald Trump's reputation. Let's set aside just how laughable that sentence is. Right. Right. But because I think it might harm his reputation, I'm going to I'm going to order something that the law does not allow. And so the the uh, the DOJ did file an appeal that apparently is just really well written because, well, they're actual lawyers. Um, <laughs> I, I, and and Trump has also said that the FBI planted evidence again. He's going back to that after admitting that he had the stuff, but it wasn't strewn about his office. I mean, uh, the appeal is is well written apparently, and people are really liking that. Yeah, and it would persuade a, an actual judge. Yeah, will it persuade Aileen Cannon? I have no idea. At what point does she care about? her reputation, her credibility, her lifetime appointment. I don't know. Um, but y you have to love how, you know, the defense will just pull any argument out of its briefcase um, and go from I didn't have the documents to I declassified the documents to, oh, the FBI planted the documents. Then it seemed like they abandoned the FBI planted them. And he said, no, 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 they were all mine. Mm -hmm. And now he's back to the FBI planted them. You know, and, and let's just lay to rest this notion of declassification. In the court filings, his defense team never once told the court he had declassified right. mm -hmm. anything. And yet you have Donald Trump's lackeys and lapdogs and criminal associates out there continuing to push the declassification line. Jody, this is all about, you know, distraction, muddying the waters, mm -hmm. keeping the money flowing into Donald Trump's pockets. You know, he continues to fool the gullible. And I know we'll talk about Bannon because that yeah. just also blows my mind. But listen, if the judge has any self-respect and any intellectual honesty, she will now wise up and do what the Department of Justice is asking. Yeah, they're giving her an out, basically, of her bad ruling. They're like, here, we will hand this to you. You rule in our favor, and you will not be as awful as you were last week. <laughs> I mean, they're giving her an off-ramp, is what it sounds like to me. Yeah, and will she take it or not? And listen, the DOJ is mindful that if they have to appeal the whole shebang, it goes to the 11th Circuit. Yeah. Which is, you know, the 11th Circuit is lousy with Trump appointees. Mm -hmm. Lousy is my old Brooklyn slash Jersey word, right? <laughs> it's full of Trump appointees. Yeah. So they know it will continue to be a bit of a slog if they have to go through more Trump appointees. Now, I'm not saying every Trump appointee to the federal bench is necessarily bad or unqualified. We've seen some Trump appointed judges rise to the occasion mm -hmm of actually applying the law as intended. So, yes, we have. but listen, I think one way or another, DOJ's position will win the day. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of at what level. Do you think they're gonna take the, the uh, cause Barb McQuaid was talking about this, the, the radical step of just indicting him in DC whilst this is also going on? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting, and I don't want to get down into the legal weeds, um, it, it's a really interesting jurisdictional or venue question. Is this thing even in the right court down in Florida? I can actually make an argument on both sides of it, but any litigation over the Presidential Records Act, which is a piece of this litigation right now, is, is only appropriately brought in D.C. federal district court. 
But that, to me, doesn't even necessarily mean that everything needs to come up to D.C. I wish it would, because I have more faith and confidence in most of the D.C. federal judges than I do certainly in Judge Cannon. Um, But listen, let's go right to your your original point and question is, shouldn't he be indicted in D.C.? Yes, he should. And yes, we can, because we have the evidence.